maybe a, a thought on, uh, on, on you guys. When you take on a team like Edmonton and you're missing so many players, to be able to come out of it with two points must be quite a testament to where this group is at. For sure, yeah. This one feels really good. That's obviously an extremely deep, dangerous team. Um, we stuck with them all game. You know, they got their chances because they're great players, but um, we weathered the storm when we had to. We did a good job killing penalties and not taking too many penalties. And um, yeah, we just kind of stuck with it and getting two points feels really good tonight for sure. Uh, how would you describe the difference or is there much of a difference between the Matt Murray we're seeing at the end of January versus the Matt Murray we saw at the end of November? Uh, no difference. You seem like you're on every, every puck tonight, though. Matt, did it feel like, like that to you? Um, yeah, I mean, there's a couple where, you know, they got good players, so a couple I felt like I was behind and, and maybe got lucky a few times. And then, um, you know, they make, you know, Connor makes a, an all-world play on that goal to go five-hole. And, um, and then that, that second one, the the righty on the left side, I don't know who it was, but he made a great play to um, find uh, Nurse coming late. So, um, like I said, great team that, that got their chances. But, um, yeah, we, we stuck with it, got the job done. What's that? Is that kind of like a change up that McDavid threw on? It wasn't a change up, no. It was, it was a laser beam. It was just right along the ice. So, um, you know, you're not really expecting him to do that. And that's that's what makes him so dangerous is he does, you know, the unexpected and makes a play like that. So, um, thought it was right in position, but still, he still finds a way to squeak one through. And that's what makes him, uh, you know, one of the best in the world. Yeah, he, you know, he brought the fire tonight for sure. Um, he's a competitive kid in practice and games, and uh, that really showed tonight with obviously the fight and um, huge clutch goal for us in overtime. <coughs> Excuse me. So, can't say enough about him. He's he's skilled. Obviously, everybody knows he's skilled, and um, you know he's he's growing and and um he's getting better each and every day and uh he comes to compete every day so um that's you know his success is uh is not a surprise Matt, what's, do you have a philosophy in terms of back-to-back -back nights are you open to the idea would you uh say you know what i, I prefer to, to have a day off or what just in general your philosophy on back-to-backs um i played i played back-to-backs probably like four or five times before in my career but um you know i i don't really uh pay too much attention it's not my decision I just try to prepare myself and if they tell me I'm playing then uh, do whatever I need to do to prepare myself to play and if not get a good skate in the morning um, and go from there so I try not to really uh, think about that it's not you know it's not my decision who plays